I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm your Towered Up Buddy as we journey to take your health back. We are coming to you live from my home office in Makiki and from the downtown Honolulu's um, studios of Think Tech Hawaii. Think Tech Hawaii features the personalities of about 45 different and very colorful show hosts. Today, we will be talking story with a dear friend of Hawaii who has a passionate heart about growing everywhere. And I mean everywhere on earth with the tower gardens. And I should add that the sky is the limit. My friend is Tim Blank. He is the developer of the tower gardens and is the chief technical officer for the tower garden division of the Juice Plus company. What I would like you to take away from today's discussion is that the tower gardens makes so much sense. If you don't own one yet, why not? <laughs> so after today, you might consider that you may need one and Tim will help you find one. So at this time, I'd like to welcome you, Tim Blaine. Aloha and welcome to our call. Aloha Hawaii. Wendy, thank you. So excited to be here. Um, oh, we're excited that you're back on. I know you have such a great passion for the people of Hawaii as well as the world as you grow us all healthier. So let's get started. So all in right. 2012, I was so blessed to bring the first tar garden to our beautiful state of Hawaii, which is also known as one of the most isolated places to live. In 2014, I invited you to share your heart with Hawaii as you are the developer of the best and simplest form of farming. Hawaii Senator Mike Gabbard, being a vegan, was so grateful that the developer of the tower gardens was coming to Hawaii that he presented you with the state of Hawaii proclamation of honor. Wow, for your accomplishments, Tim, towards providing a solution to an agriculture concern. How did it feel to accept that proclamation of honor from our senator? Well, you guys surprised me. So it was a real <laughs> honor, you know, being able to accept that. You said, Some, someone's uh, going to surprise you. And, uh, you know, really love the work that he does and the, the agricultural consciousness there for the state of Hawaii. And so his passion being able to, you know, Hawaii's uh, understanding that they have to be food sovereign and have some greater food independence is going to require technology and a different way of doing things. So um, that was just a real joy to be able to accept that on behalf of our company. And uh, since then, we have blossomed uh, uh, urban agriculture all over the islands really help people get in control of their food supply. Yes, and that's so, so important. You know, as Hawaii woke up and the tar garden craze was on and now everyone wanted a better quality of nutritional intake for their families, we felt the need to invite you back once again. And I know it wasn't difficult. I had to twist your arm only halfway and you said, okay, I'll be there. But you told me, when I asked you, you said, oh yeah, maybe in January. And we were in 2017, so I thought 2018 you would be free. And you said, no, 2019, January, when I'm like, oh my gosh, we have to wait that long. So in 2019, we kicked off your visit with two events. One was a VIP invited guests only. And we had about 70 plus VIPs that were so very interested in what you have developed and how could we implement all of that here in Hawaii. And your second talk was entitled, inspiring food sovereignty in Hawaii. I know that the energy behind that talk is because of your awareness of Hawaii's isolation. Mm -hmm. As everyone knows that once the ship stopped coming to our ports, that we will be without supplies within two days. So mm -hmm. I so appreciate your tower gardens. So how do you feel, how did you feel about Hawaii's response to your presentations when you were here, Tim? Oh, it was like, you know, really the, uh, it was like coming home to family yes. and it's just a really beautiful experience and the desire that people have to be able to transition, uh, knowing that we have to do it, a, you know, less pesticides, less water. Um, we have to grow more food in less space. How do we do it? So there's such a hunger and interest, Wendy, um, mm. like I've really never seen anywhere I've traveled on earth. It was, mm. it's beautiful. And Thank I always am excited to come back. 
I'm grateful that you recognize that because yes, the people are hungry, hungry for change and better and better quality. So you've waken us up. And you know, every time I, I talk about the Tower Garden and I can feel your passion, it jumps into me and I, I share that with everyone. And I always say, gosh, does Tim, do they understand what they developed here? It's not just a growing vehicle, but you've did, what, what you have in the Tower Garden is love, is aloha, is future, is the generations, it's intergenerational, it's everything encompassed into this thing we call the tower garden and you understand yeah. why i love it so much yeah so, <laughs> you do and okay so a few nine years ago i was introduced to it for those of you who don't really know what the tower gardens are tim could you just give us a few highlights about what the tower garden is Sure, sure. So the, uh, the, the tower garden is a, 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 just think of it as a vertical condominium for plants. So either in a 24 or 30 inch footprint, we can grow up to 32 plants, when the indoors or outdoors, anyone's balcony and doesn't require dirt. So we're using up to 90% less water and 90% less land. And you don't have to do all the bending, weeding, tilling. You literally mix in a a dab of your mineral A and a dab of your mineral B with your just regular uh, water from your faucet. And uh, it's really the iPhone of growing. Within just a week or two, things just start blowing up and you're already harvesting. You know, most people prepare months uh, of work into their garden. And with a tower garden, it's literally turning over in seven to 14 days from a transplant. And so that's really rewarding because, uh, you know, back when I used to work for Disney at the, the, the famous hydroponic greenhouses at the land at Epcot Center. We taught all about farming all over the world. And one of the things that I saw over my 12 years of experience there was that the future of food was just like uh, what we're doing for people. We have to grow up, not out, because they're not making any more land. In fact, recently I've heard we're losing land <laughs> as the oceans are slowly creeping up. So that's really my passion. It was really about how, you know, every family, when Jessica Blank and I started this company, was that every family from coast to coast and around the world would have access to clean, fresh, healthy food right in the comfort of their own backyard because technology makes it really simple. Wow. You, and you've nailed it. Both you and Jessica, your passion behind the Tower Garden is, is just infectious. I love hanging out with you guys. It just reinforces <laughs> my, my heart about it. And without a doubt, you've nailed it on, it's, you know, you've nailed it, especially like for Hawaii, um, agriculture or land, um, real estate is very expensive and yes. hard to come by if it's not accessible. So for us, it's ideal. Um, the water situation, everything. And I'm sure every location has the same desires that we do in, in, in finding a solution and you've nailed it. So mahalo to you, Tim and Jessica. We just love you for all of that. So, Thank you know, you. A, a, a lot of our friends have tower gardens. And so many of our tower garden customers want a second tower so that they could grow in their kitchens, you know, and they just make it so much easier. Mm -hmm. I know that you solved that request as well. So please tell us more about the different tower gardens and your tower garden home. Yeah, absolutely. So really we have two simple solutions for growing food at home, you know, outdoors on your patio. And we call that tower garden flex, it's 30 inches. Mm -hmm. You grow all your plants up vertically and they can be shorter than what you see in the picture. They're, think of it as a, a modular a Lego condominium for plants. And so, <laughs> so there the tower garden flex on your left kind of shows, you know, squash at the bottom of the bigger plants. And on the right, we have our tower garden home, which is for indoor growing. We'll talk about that more in a little bit, but really all you need is a, a, a spot in your yard, Wendy, that gets good sunlight. And again, the plants plug in and, and you're good to go. In fact, for people who are really lazy and don't even want to start their own seeds, there's a company in Hawaii, in Hawaii called Towered Up Hawaii, yeah. they sell little seedlings. They ship seedlings all over the Hawaiian Island, so you can go online, pick what seeds you want, put them in the tower garden, and you're literally off and running in a matter of, uh, of, of days harvesting. So wow. that's what it's all about. <laughs> that makes it so easy and so neat. So you told us how to get seedlings. So how does a viewer watching our show, how do they buy a tower garden, Tim? Yeah, so just, you know, you can check out our company at towergarden.com and learn all about you know, what we do, we do everything from urban farming, which we can talk about a little bit, think towards the end, and, and all about uh, uh, growing food at home in the comfort of your own kitchen. You're going to see some beautiful slides coming up to show how we do that. But yeah, check us out at tower, towergarden.com and 
we've got all kinds of pictures and videos and uh, um, it's a really fun website to navigate and just see what growing food indoors or outdoors is all about. Wow, you make it so easy. I'm excited. I'm yeah, and one of the things we've done too, Wendy, is like if you think about it, you go to the, um, we, uh, we've set up a payment system and we, we, we did this eight years ago where people could, you know, just do a simple monthly payment for 12 months. So a lot of, and then like, I, you know, I kind of think about it as, you know, once growing food is like printing money. So once you own that <laughs> tower garden, it's the gift, it's a, it's a, it's a product that's built for life. So wow. it's kind of like once you own it, and that's the idea of also being green and sustainable is that wow. one of our, our tower garden pots, for example, and then our little, you know, baby greens here and our regular one here, that's a large spacing and small spacing, but these are like, you know, this is, wow. this is these are made out of some tough plastic and uh, they're designed to, you know, fall and drop and really wow. like, you know, you know, last decades of use. So that's, that's what being green in part is all about. It wow. seems like so many things you buy today are disposable. So um, right. it's it's well, a heck of an investment. <laughs> well, you built it to last, and that's important. So people really get true value, and they continue yeah. to grow. It's like it's like the gift that keeps giving, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> so it does. that's that's beautiful. You know, now I uh, I have a slide with uh, your daughter and uh, you, and you are with your tower gardens, and you're with your blender. Um, this is amazing. So your daughters have grown up around the tower garden. So does that mean that if they grow it, they'll eat it? <laughs> yeah, really, you know, you know why we shared that picture is we know it's, it's, it's actually proven scientifically that children that grow their own fruits and vegetables eat more fruits and vegetables. And what we have found is that children that, you know, a lot of kids don't like being on the bugs and the sweat and the dirt and, and, and having to weed. It's not fun. And it's, and it's months to get a reward in some cases. And so the tower, like I said, just the iPhone of gardening. Kids fall in love with it and they plant a seed and they, and they really love eating food. And the food that comes from a tower garden, we control exactly what goes in. So it's high nutritious in, mm -hmm. high nutrition, excuse me, in, high nutritious food out not covered in pesticide chemicals, zero pesticide chemicals. So when you taste the food, it just tastes extraordinary as we all know the grow. In fact, I, I travel all over the world. I could eat at the nicest restaurant in France and I come back to the US and it's midnight and you can ask Jessica if she was here. The first thing I do is make a salad off my tower garden. It's usually at midnight when I get back from those international flights because Nothing tastes like the food you grow at home on the tower garden. Mm. It's just full of, I remember, Wendy, you said something when I visited Hawaii, you said, when you pull it off the tower and you pop it in the mouth, in your mouth, the plant doesn't even know it's dead yet. And, right. that's, <laughs> and that's so true. Right. Um, wow, so, that's exciting. Yeah, so and so one, one of the things I show in that picture too, for the people who, you know, so many of us, um, a lot of times it's a New Year's resolution. We, we, we don't necessarily like our weight or physical fitness and we make those commitments. I'm gonna, one of the things I love about the salad, the tower garden is sometimes we teach people, you know, just if you wanna start, start simple, grow yourself a salad every night for dinner for family four off of one tower. Or so many people day, Wendy do juicing and smoothing. So on that slide, I was showing those tower to table and 10 footsteps. You walk out your blender, you cut it, you throw it in. And I get my kids to do one of those smoothies every morning, and it's wonderful because my youngest daughter um, does not like, the, in fact, the only fruit or vegetable she'll eat is watermelon. But if I blend all those veggies in with uh, uh, organic mango and some things and sweeten it up with ice, it's almost like eating green ice cream, and they love that. And, wow. Uh, so and it's that's just a, so it's, important. It, it really is because I think, you know, what we put into our body, every single thing we put into our body, our body has to... It takes the nutrition from it, and if there's chemicals on it, your body works really hard, your liver especially, to detoxify uh, chemicals from standard agriculture. So when we eliminate chemicals and we have something highly nutritious, it radically changes the way we feel in our health. And so that's a big deal for me on, on this mission is, you know, just really getting people healthy is, is, a, is a big deal. And when you grow it at home, you're going to eat it every time, you know, it's always ready. In fact, I have three towers that I'm not keeping up with right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you nailed it. Um, absolutely, with our keiki, you get them to grow it, they'll eat it. You know, and uh, I work a lot with special needs kids as well, and they're on wheelchairs. Some of them are autistic, and you know, they don't normally eat fresh greens. They just yeah. want jello. They just want a peanut butter jelly sandwich. But when they grow it, and I've seen it happen, 
when I go there and they want to feed Auntie Wendy a meal, they pick it, they serve me. And then when I'm eating my meal, I turn around and like, OMG, they're eating it too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so I know it's proven. I know that for a fact, and I'm never going to stop promoting what you and Jessica have created. You created so uh, you created a healthier future is what I yeah, know. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so mahalo to you. So let's talk a little bit more about the, the little the little guy. We call it the home tower garden. And yeah. let's talk a little bit more about that. I'm excited about that. Yeah, one. sure. So we just talked about tower garden flex. That's what mainly we use for outdoor growing, Wendy. And so tower garden home, we learned over the years that, you know, just do you, you know, people want to replace a chair or an end table and just 30 inches was a little bit too big. 18 to 24 inches was that magic sweet spot. Mm -hmm. So Tower Garden Home, you know, it's literally 24 inches. You can roll through an interior door, uses a standard outlet and, you know, uh, uh, water from your water faucet. But uh, it just, all you do is just replace a table or an end chair, tuck it in the corner. And we have 32 plant sites, 32 plant sites, 16 <laughs> little baby greens up at the top and 16 large. And um, wow. what I really love about that is that, it, you know, so many people in Hawaii, don't have a yard, you're in a high rise yes. or you're in a part of the island where there's a lot of bugs and weeds and maybe gardening outdoors is more challenging. So honestly, we just love Tower Garden Home. Jessica and I have three of them um, in our mud room and you know, literally they that's right next to the kitchen. And you know, it's just always, I don't have to walk outside. And what we, what we do find for us personally is that, that a lot of times if it's right where you walk past every day, Mm -hmm. You'll literally just grab leaves off of it. And, you know, three, there, there's another baby kale, which by the way, if you're new to growing food, you'll be blown away by how amazing a baby kale off a tower garden tastes like that macadamia Hawaiian chocolate, okay? <laughs> yeah. it is, no wonder I'm addicted to it. <laughs> yes, it's incredible. It's incredible. It is. And you know, uh, I have an admission, a, a confession to make. You know, I've never... I never bought kale a day in my life, okay? Because I only started eating kale because I grow it. Yeah. And so I've been growing it for the last <laughs> almost nine years. And I have, that's my breakfast every day for the last nine years. I'm a creature of habit. I wake up, I say, come on, dog. I'm Nala's my dog, my grand dog. Yeah. So let's go to the tower garden. And she runs to the screen door and she knows we're going to go harvest the kale. And that has been my breakfast. So I have never, uh, in a, a day in my life, I have never bought kale, believe that's it or not. That's amazing. amazing. Yeah, so that's my testimony and I'll never buy it because I'm good, I grow the best. The absolute and then best. I, I think to that point, Wendy, is like the, our whole mission is being able to grow food anywhere, whether you're, whether it's our researchers down in the Antarctic, right, <laughs> that are doing hydroponics or something on a, in a high rise in, uh, in Honolulu. It's like they're, the, the, the excuse that I don't have a yard anymore doesn't work. We can actually grow a plethora of food. And it's, and also what we find too is it creates a living presence in your home, especially during COVID. That can yes. probably keep you from wanting to jump off that balcony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to stay up here with my basil and my kale. Right. Are you kidding me? Yeah. All right. So, you know, a lot of my friends are looking for tower gardens. And so you nailed it with the, the, the home and putting it near to the kitchen. But um, we have a slide of another kitchen. It's a bit larger. And that models the tower garden in there. They, they use it in their curriculum. And so yeah. I want you to share with us, mm, some of the schools here in Hawaii have been using it in their gardens or yeah. in their kitchens. So can you share with us other schools and universities that you know of that are utilizing the power of the tower garden within? Thank you. Oh my gosh. You know, it would, it would take a whole nother thing to go through all this, you know, everything from UCLA to uh, the Green the Green Bronx School in uh, New York, uh, managed by Stephen Ritz, and uh, uh, Ryan Elementary in Phoenix. Uh, uh, Mama Kim Barker down there has literally towers and all the every board. It's part of their tower garden. Help them become an A-rated school. It's part of their STEM programming. It's part of their. Uh, it's utilize. It's utilizing the room for their uh, disabled kids. They literally had students that. Um, you know, can only uh, talk by, you know, moving their chin and communicate through uh, that language. And they have a little robot that dumps the fertilizer in. And so what they have done at that school is absolutely phenomenal. So I think now we have more than 10,000 tower gardens across the country. And now we think with all in schools, by the way, so all these kids that are now homeschooling and growing from home, we do, we have literally so many families bringing in tower garden inside their home 
because kids are really bored. It can be challenging working with their parents when they haven't before. And so they brought, you know, they brought the, the, the tower and allows them to bring the science lab into the home, at the same time grow healthy food. And a lot of people go on a budget right now because of their job situation. So mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, growing food's a big deal, so. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, I'm so excited that the schools decide that they wanna be a part of it. And so anytime they do, I make a commitment that I'll come and watch them. I, I, I let them watch the video and I let the students set it up themselves. But the best part here in Hawaii, um, the Hawaiian kids, you know, they sing a song. It's a mahalo, a thank you song. And they get together and they harmonize this most beautiful mahalo song. And so, I mean, I'm getting, it's, it's a reward after a reward, just seeing them loving, growing on the tower. And then they get together and they sing me this song. I mean, I'll do it just for that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Their, it's from their heart. I, I just really, truly yeah. love it. So since your last visit to Hawaii, we secured a, a grant and we started a tower garden farm and it's a oh, working yeah. farm. Yeah. And we're still working on the growing pains and we have a production and we are marketing it through their organization so we can income generate for the uh, transitional homes, houseless people, I should say, and the monies go back into their programs so they can do more and, you know, more things with the facilities that they have. Well, that's and congratulations. That's been your dream for, for several, many years, Wendy. So I'm so yes, glad sir. to, I haven't yes, seen that sir. picture. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, and then, you know, um, my partner, Derek, uh, he's with Tower It Up, and he's doing such an incredible job, and, and his seedling farms, that he's providing the seedlings for the farms, as well as for many of the tower growers yeah. here in Hawaii, so I, 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 you need to come back to Hawaii, uh, that's what I'm going to yeah. say, you need to come back to Hawaii so you can critique and guide us and advise us so we can be, you know, even more productive, and yep. we welcome you back at any time. If it means we're going to pop up more farms every time you come, <laughs> we better bring you back because we surely, surely need you. Well, looking forward to it, Wendy. I know. And then another, another success story is um, there's this young kid. He's like 19 years old. He never walked a day in his life. He was on, he's on a wheelchair. His mm -hmm. name is Jax. And so he was complaining with COVID. Mom, I can't find a job. I can't find a job. So we went into a huddle and they all decided that they would take their stimulus checks and they made a tower garden farm. So they, what they needed was they just needed to make the ground, um, cement the ground and they, they had uh, organized 20 towers and they wow. had a little tower garden farm on their, in their front yard where they're providing the neighbors with the best quality of produce. And more and more people are learning about Jack's on his wheelchair as he's providing food for the neighbors. Is that amazing, Tim? It's awesome. That's so good. I mean, that's one of the things that's one of the few gardens on earth that also gives a lot of our disabled the opportunity to work on it. And so um, that's just beautiful to see. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And, you know, every time I, I see an opportunity and there's opportunity everywhere we look, Tim, that, wow, you guys should be growing on a tower farm. You should be growing on it, no matter disabilities or yeah. economic disability or, you know, it doesn't matter. If there is a will, there is a way, and you've provided yeah. that for all of us, yeah. especially here on the islands, Tim, where, as I kept mentioning, real estate is very expensive. So a lot of businesses can't afford even more space, but it doesn't take a whole lot of space to be productive. Well, and it's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting you mentioned that because, you know, when I fly into Hawaii or I I'm, I'm fly, flew into Los Angeles recently and you look over and you see all that rooftop space, where people see empty space, I use I, I see unused farmland. I think that's what we're going to talk about next, right? <laughs> yeah, similar, similar. But I mean, since when I got mine and I'm in a condo and I, I overlook everything, that building right next door to me, I you know, I see cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. <laughs> yeah. I don't see an empty uh, rooftop, but yeah. I need to find others that see the same vision, so yeah. that we can partner up and we can make more of this happen. And, by you coming to Hawaii and your heart around all of us versus well, look at that crazy Wendy, you know, but it's backed up by science and knowledge, which you bring and credibility from you and the company that you represent. So we're so grateful every time that you are coming to Hawaii that you can promote that because we so need it, Tim. Thank you. So that next slide you have coming up there, you know, to, to that point is that um, some of the things we all deal with, uh, we struggle with, uh, with homelessness and, uh, in cities all over the country. I know this is a big topic uh, in the state of Hawaii as well. And so one of the opportunities we've seen a, a, a work with the homeless, I think that slide coming up is with uh, uh, um, 
It's the birthday boy. Yesterday was his birthday, yep. 824. Yep. Yeah, there yeah. he is. So, you know, Kobe and the, the Getty family and the, the, the Clinton Global Initiative had a vision in LA that uh, uh, not only to give people a place to live, but to teach them a vocation and give them healthy food. A lot of times in shelters, they're eating processed, packaged, and preserved food, which doesn't support a healthy brain. It feeds the belly, but it doesn't support a healthy brain. Fresh fruits and vegetables do. And uh, so they saw that vision and something all of us worked on together and created the world's first certified lead platinum building with that beautiful food farm. If you could pull that slide back up, that uh, it was just beautiful. Imagine, you know, we're in Los Angeles yes. and the streets are all busy and noisy and crowded. And you come three stories up above where all these uh, previous homeless people would live and they can work and uh, learn a vocation and spend time on that beautiful farm there. So that's the other side of our company, the Wendy, the, excuse me, the, Tower Farms Division, and this is where we take similar technology that you're using out there in the residential market, and we literally, you know, are setting up rooftop farms and an unused parking lot space for homeless shelters. And again, we're doing all this using, you know, 90, uh, uh, far less land, far less water, no harmful chemicals, and, and changing our carbon footprint. I mean, mm. I tell people, you know, if you, when you live in Hawaii or, or where I'm at a lot of the time, Orlando, Florida, food might have traveled thousands of miles mm -hmm. and lost up to 50% of the nutrition will leave just a massive carbon footprint on planet Earth. I think for all of you out there tonight, today, if there's one thing you can do to reduce your carbon footprint by recycling your garbage, mm -hmm. is not creating more garbage. And one of those things is growing food at home. Every Amen. time you harvest a head of lettuce, you know, you've eliminated transportation miles, a plastic wrapper, the cardboard box, the diesel to harvest it, the diesel to grow it, the diesel to ship it, the, the, the energy it took to chill it, the starting up your car to go to the store, you eliminate all that every single time you harvest a head of lettuce or kale or tomato or cucumber off your tower. And so I just love the opportunity that we have a chance to help planet Earth by embracing this technology. Wow. Wow. I mean, <laughs> everything that this Tar Garden stands for or is, I mean, that's what I've been groomed with and for. You know that um, the, the center, the Kobe Bryant Foundation Center, where they take care of the people off the street? Mm -hmm. That's my passion for the last 15 years. That's my field is I, I take care of the people in need. And, you know, um, I mean, we're very grateful for all the donations that they give to the shelters and not complaining at all, but sometimes because it's the second hand and discarded. So sometimes it's not the best quality, but what you've provided, what the Tar Gardens have provided is that everybody has equal opportunity to the best, the best, yeah. the best. And that's so important where everyone's created equal and served equal and deserves equal. And so Tim, we just mahalo you because I have you on my uh, on this show with us right now and the people of Hawaii and the people of the world mahalo you for what you've put together. You and Jessica have not just created a tower, it's a tower of love, it's tower, it's it's our future tower. Yeah. And so we so appreciate you and we just wanted to say that. So thank you for thank spending you. your time with us today and sharing your heart. And I know this is just a beginning for Hawaii, for the world. And so come on guys, if you don't got one yet, give tower, uh, dot, on towergarden.com a, a call or just inquire and they'll get you information about it. And then you yeah. too can be growing healthy and, and for your keiki and for your kupuna, yeah. get them involved. That's so important. Yes. Yeah, all really right. love all, you know, the, uh, the, the for all my friends in Hawaii, you are family. Uh, Jessica and I love you, our company, our tower, everyone, you know, we were just talking with our leadership at Tower Garden today and they all said to say a lot, uh, um, hello. And really just, we wanted to leave you with this image of, you know, this is when we think about the world we're gonna leave for our children. I love this image because it demonstrates there is a different way, there is a solution and every human being around the world and across the globe should have access to clean, healthy food right at home or right there within their own community. And so we are creating the future. Aloha. Wow, that's so amazing. I'm like crying up over here. So mahalo, Jessica. Mahalo, Tim, for your time and your passion and your aloha for the people of the world. Yeah. Mahalo. Thank you. We love you guys. Bye-bye. Right. Aloha.